Hey people, David Drace from Slash Mini Films, and I'm gonna do a review to you today. I went to my playing shirt again because I love the place, and I picked up a really, really, really unique game. This is Sonic and Knuckles. And um, Sonic and Knuckles, if you look, it's a lock on cartridge. Um, it's actually assembled in the USA. Um, and um, what, what's so cool about this is not only is it a standalone game, but it also allows you to lock on with other Sega, or with other games and allows extra stuff to be added. Give me one second, people. So yeah. Um, so I'm going to basically show you what, or tell you about this game and basically explain um, all the neat stuff about it. So, um, this was released in October of 1994 to sort of hold everybody over for Sonic 3. Um, in the end, we got a special game that allowed Lock On Technology to play Knuckles in Sonic 2 and 3. And, um, I want to show you guys something cool. We're going to start with locking on any cartridge. Um, I'm going to take a Mortal Kombat. No, no, no. I'm going to take a Rai Star because it's made by Sonic Team. So, um, give me one second, people. Turn on my TV. Whenever I put Rise Star on top of my Sonic and Knuckles cartridge, you get a screen that looks like this. Basically, with every single game you put on top of here, including Sonic 1, you get now, unfortunately for this, you can't play anything. Or can you? Whenever you lock on a non-Sonic the Hedgehog game to the top, you can play Blue Sphere as as you can play Blue Sphere as Knuckles. Whenever you lock on Sonic the Hedgehog to the Sonic and Knuckles cartridge. One second. Whenever you lock on Sonic 1 to the Sonic and Knuckles cartridge, something similar happens. You actually get the same No Way screen. And I forgot to say how, ex except for this, all of your characters are in full color, except for that, or instead of that blue tint. And the way you activate Blue Sphere, by the way, is you hit A, B, and C all at the same time. And, um, basically, with every game you get a certain level. And when you lock on Sonic 1, you actually... Huh! I played Blue Sphere as Sonic on this earlier. It's very awkward. Anyway, but, um... Basically, same thing. Um... Whenever... I... Lock Sonic 2 onto Sonic and Knuckles... get a similar screen to Sonic 2. Except you've got Knuckles. I'm just going to show you guys the demo before I actually start to play it. 
And, um, so like I said, you're using so or Knuckles as the sprite this time instead of Sonic. Which is really, really cool because you can normally only play as Sonic and Tails. So it's pretty cool. I'm going to try and play this with one hand for y'all. So basically it's all Sonic 2 with Knuckles. Unfortunately, I don't have Sonic 3. So I can't show you guys that, and I don't want to open up my emulator. But, whenever you don't lock anything on to Sonic and Knuckles, and you're running just the card, it says the Sega, and then you get the actual Sonic and Knuckles music in the Sonic and Knuckles game gonna play a Sonic to show you guys this game. Basically what happens is this is Mushroom Zone 1. Sonic, uh, Sonic is amazing in this game. All the levels are similar to Sonic 3. Very similar to Sonic 3. Um, other, or, but um, it's actually quite different. And um, if I hit reset and um if anybody knows the debug code for this, please tell me, because I don't know it yet. I'm going to try Knuckles now. You get different music, and you get a cutscene in the beginning. Which you don't get with Sonic. All you get is just starting the game. Because Knuckles wasn't officially given an introduction until Sonic the Hedgehog 3. So, one thing that Knuckles can do that Sonic can't do, is glide. And he can climb as well. Um, I'm going to try and keep this video as short as I can. So, in other words, Sonic and Knuckles is a 16 megabyte cartridge of win. Buy it.